hello all uh, welcome to another sessions and uh, in this section we are talking about that uh, the difference between the rsc versions 8 and rsc versions 9 specifically right and then we will discuss about the command uh, difference between the rhl 8 command rhl especially the rsc 8 command changes and rsc 9 what's the new in rsc 9 okay and uh, then we will discuss about the installations as well like how we how you can install the ansible navigator that's like a new tool in rsc versions 9 in this particular uh, uh, videos especially right so when we're talking about the topic wise right so uh, the installations and all those are th same right once we're talking about the if we not going to expect that uh, ansible navigator so you can execute normal and simple playbook command right so when we're talking about the uh, session wise or topic wise um, mostly uh, our content are same right like two or three chapter differ from that uh, that previous versions to the newest versions let's suppose that for example that we created content for you guys right so let's suppose like um, the first we have introduction of ansible what is ansible and what the use of those things right and then installations as well so in the first we are simple talk about that installations of Ansible with the help of EPL mechanisms either you can install from the um, uh, release.ansible.com either from the Red Hat subscriptions right the same thing in RHL 9 as well right you have options right you just take a subscription from the Red Hat to install those Ansible navigator just like a new tool in RHCE versions 9 right with the help of those things you can deploy manage or you can automate your configurations or your uh, server infrastructure server we can say right similarly in the second what we learn in, in the rhl8 right when, when we talk about those things so in this section we just um, like if, if we talk about those in moment and those in syntaxes so we uh, learn about the inventories file then ad hoc, ad hoc command and then cfg file as well in the rhl version 8 when we talk about that right in the RHL line, what we have that the same, we have inventory file, we have a CFG file and all those things, right? And in the same thing, we have how to write a playbook with the help of uh, Ansible Navigator and all those things, right? And how to execute those playbook with the help of Ansible Navigator in the chapter number second as well. Because in RHL 8, we have uh, options to write a playbook in chapter number third, but in the RHL uh, nine rsc9 we can say overall we have a, a topic for the same how to write up single playbook multiple playbook how to execute those program in uh, with the help of our ansible navigator right similarly in the third we have implementing these playbook in rhc version 8 but in the nine we have the same the variables and facts this topic remains same actually because you guys know about that rsc we have a secrets vaults and then facts right all those so the fourth we can say topic and in the third topic both are same in the rsc version 8 and version 9 there there might be minor uh, examples are changed but the concept and uh, everything remains same vault command is everywhere like in the rsc version 8 and 9 as well okay so there's a changes in this one and then when we talk about that loops and all those things right so that's uh, in chapter number four loops and handlers and tagging tagging is not there but again you can use this hyphen hyphen step options and tagging in moment you can use in version 8 and 9 both version 8 we have the same thing in version 9 we have the same thing in the 8 we have a different chapter for this variables and facts and all those things okay so that's one point and moving on the next chapter right we have a uh, in chapter number fifth, we have a uh, ansible um, loops and all those things, right? In versions nine, we have a chapter number four. So that's like differences. And in RSC, we have chapter number fifth. That's like a Jinja two template. You guys know about that. So template remains same in RSC versions nine, right? It's not going to change much in the version eight and version nine. The definitions to write the template that's are changed, but the syntaxes and all the J two everything remains same. So accordingly you can just compare with the uh, in your versions 8 and versions 9 so that's a point okay and chapter number 6 one is talking about that right so uh, the things are remain same in the chapter number uh, 6 in version 7 and version uh, sorry version 8 and version 9 like uh, how to copy how to include how to import and all those things right the same thing in the chapter rsc version 9 chapter number 6 how you can select the host pattern right like 
in this particular we have chapter number 7 right but in versions 9 we have a chapter number 6 right where we can um, like let's suppose you have a lot of uh, host informations right and then how you can choose your host inside your playbook or we can say selecting the host pattern with the help of wildcard with the help of name with the help of ip c adder a lot of things we have that right so the topic remains same the uh, technically word remains same right only the chapter wise this has changed like chapter number six and seven and all those things right because it's like a, a few chapter in the versions nine one chapter becomes less in the chapter number uh, rc versions nine right so that's a point and these topic are widely changed in rsc nine right that's like a new uh, not we can say um, technically if we're talking about that uh, the latest or higher um, automation with Ansible techniques and tools right so that's not going to change much one but in the RSC actually we have a uh, uh, different contents for this topic actually right that's like important for the, so there's a totally change right so inside that we have a contain and all those things we have a roles all those things so we have option for the same so this topic are majorly change in RSC versions 9 right because if you notice now in the RSC version it we simple we have a uh, roles like how to create your own role right then offline roles and then from the galaxies role right so that's one and the same we have a uh, contents collections right by default we have some content collection you can import your own collection and all those things so that topic are majorly changing versions 9 right and other thing are remain same if you notice now for example the chapter number 9 we have a troubleshooting in the chapter number Eight, we have a troubleshooting in RSC versions 9 right and in the chapter number 10 we have a uh, automations or uh, Linux admin start like similarly managing users group permissions policies and then um, cron job scheduling user management group management and then storage management all those are in the particular automation the same thing you can use in chapter number 9 right so overall we can say in chapter number uh, in the RSC, we have uh, like 11 chapter, right? Uh, including that uh, comprehensive review, right? In RSC 9, we have a uh, nine chapter excluding the comprehensive review, right? Because we mentioned that comprehensive review is like optional, right? So overall, we have nine nine chapter in RSC 9 because we have a uh, fewer uh, things because they add chapter number two, three in the single part chapter number two, if you notice now, right? So that's like a major changes, not like a um uh, big changes in rsc version 8 and 9 but yeah to writing a playbook to executing the playbook these are totally changed uh, especially in the examinations or in the when, when talking about the books and all those things so accordingly we need to follow those things okay why because in rsc versions 9 we have not a uh, uh, ansible playbook command right when was talking about the ansible playbook because you all know about that ansible playbook that help you to execute your uh, task and all those things right so that is by default in RHGL 8 when we're talking about RSC or any version we can say okay uh, RSC 8 now in RSC 9 right we have an inbuilt Ansible navigator command okay that allow help to manage or maintain all those informations and services that are going to help to deploy your uh, or we can say build your applications and the depend on that what what task you just mentioned inside those okay so we have a like ansible navigator that with the help of this command you're managing those things right so uh, if we're talking about the differences for the differences i already mentioned uh, as short terms for the same like like when we're talking about the ansible playbook right so with the help of both command when we're talking about the comparisons or difference between the playbook and navigator right so both are help you to run execute a playbook but depend on that we have like some differences i just mentioned here right okay, when we are trying to execute that uh, playbook right it's require your specific inventory file and the cfg file because you guys know that we have a cfg file like authentication file and then we have a we need an inventory file <coughs> and then we need our task like what task you want to execute on which manage node so that we need require those things and then we need a command line argument to run all those things right so we can say it's like a simple and efficient way to run the playbook task and everything right but again um, playbook is like a uh, difficult for the complete like let's suppose we have a roles features right so to mitigate that humans here and all those things we have a role but role also we can say uh, uh, structures and many more things right so for that help those uh, users and understand what process are going on okay and uh, 
what changes would occur especially in the real time and all those things right and especially that uh, the feedback policies and all those things that allow in your ansible navigator as name represent navigation or vacancy navigator that help you to like what task and uh, how you execute those right so if you read this content i just mentioned for you, for you guys right uh so on other on other hand provide the user friendly interfaces so provide that ansible navigator right for working with ansible task and playbook right it's a like interactive tool to guide the what you through the process of running ansible playbook and task right and also provide a real time feedback like the same thing what changes occurred and all those things in the uh, in the uh, playbook you need to mention that hyphen v double v and triple v options and then to check that you need to write and all this we have a lot of feature we'll discuss that right but in the same we have options right in the navigator right and we can see like uh, uh, when uh, especially when i use those things like i i feel that's like a more easy compared to the ansible playbook right when we're talking about the navigator so there's like some features like red hat just make this uh, more uh, flexible more advanced right to uh, define your uh, or to process your configuration management tool, especially any configuration like Apache Engine and all those things, right? So that's like difference between that uh, normal playbook and Navigator, just like a new in RSC version 9, right? And with the help of these command, you need to mention those different, different tools. It's still modules are available, right? If you wanted to do that, you can use the Ansible playbook as well, right? In RSC 9, if you know, if you guys know that, we have been built at Ansible core, right? So you can use that uh, too in RSC versions 9, but uh, once we're talking about the official curriculum of Red Hat and uh, when we're talking about the exam of RSC 294, right? So they recommend that or we need to execute all the playbook with the help of navigator command. Okay, so that's like a point, but again, that's depend on your uh, options and your uh, requirement, like what types of content you want to execute that and how you want to execute. So depend on that, right? So that's totally the choice, right? Between the tool uh, that you want to, de want to deploy that, right? So depend on the specific need and preferences of the users and then uh, the environment or the company they wanted to use that. Okay, so uh, that's a point actually. And if you need that, I'll show you that official curriculum as well. So that's like official ebook of Red Hat 294 version. <coughs> okay, so if you notice now, all the things are remain same, introduction of those things, right? That we discussed earlier or we check on this uh, previous uh, content. And then the same, uh, how you can create an inventory file and all those things, okay? And then the variables and the facts actually, okay then the loops handlers and all those things okay the j2 file and all those things right and how you can manage the large number of project and specifications and then we have ansible content especially the roles and all those things we can say right uh, galaxies we can compare those things but it's like a more advanced than the galaxies and so on and then the troubleshooting troubleshooting steps are same in the version 8 and version 9 that we discussed earlier like v triple v and the uh, you can check the logs file and all those things, okay? And uh, the same with the help of uh, Ansible Navigator or Ansible how we can automate our Linux basic command like creating a file folder and so on, so on, so on. Okay, so that's like official curriculum and so on, right?